Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. Voters in Zambia are casting ballots Tuesday in an election to replace the late President Michael Sato, who died in October. Eleven candidates are on the ballot. Uh, the top com uh, contenders are Defence Minister Edgar Lungu of Mr. Sato's Patriotic Fr uh, Party Front and Hakainde Ichilima, who heads the Opposition United Party for National Development. The winner will serve the remaining year and a half of the five-year term Mr. Sato earned when he was elected president in 2011. An election for a fresh presidential term is scheduled for next year. Well, a third of Zambia's uh, 15 million people are eligible to participate in Tuesday's special vote. Uh, for the latest, we are joined via uh, live Skype uh, by reporter Jillian Parker from Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, Jillian, uh, first, uh, just uh, give us a sense of how uh, this process was from morning until uh, this time when it's almost over. Well, I've been uh, looking and visiting several polling booths across the capital, Lusaka, and uh, I can tell you that uh, the election has gone very peacefully so far. Uh, there have been heavy rains, which might have put off a few people from voting, um, but it's more likely that it's actually going to end up delaying the voting process more than anything else. Now, we know that uh, the field is uh, pretty crowded, uh, but uh, two candidates obviously stand out. Is that what you're hearing from those casting their votes, those who had already cast their votes that uh, probably the president will come from one of the two. Yes, I think so. I think speaking to most people uh, voting today and analysts um, across the country, this does seem to be a two-horse race uh, between uh, Edgar Lungu, who's with the Patriotic Front, the ruling party, and Hake uh, Enza Hichilema with the United Party for National Development. Uh, so, really, we are expecting it to be a tussle between these two candidates, even, even though there are nine other candidates on, on, uh, up for votes. Yeah. What, what are the major issues that separate and distinguish these two candidates, particularly? Edgar Lungu, uh, with the ruling Patriotic Front, is, um, is following a very populist uh, campaign and following in the footsteps uh, of uh, Sata, who, who died in October last year. Uh, so really he's promising uh, very big infrastructure projects, uh, employment, um, higher wages uh, and, and this kind of thing. So it's very much kind of um, appealing to the grassroots um, voters. Uh, Hichilema is, uh, I mean, he's called an elite, uh, and he, but he is an extremely successful businessman and, uh, and, and a farmer. And that does appeal to some people. Uh, who feel that been especially farmers in the country who feel they've been let down uh, by the government. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a tight race. Yeah. Now we know that uh, the whoever wins is going to serve uh, just a, a year and a half, and then we'll have a fresh election. But how significant will this be to whoever wins this election? This is going to be fairly significant, um, although it is it isn't going to be an easy uh, eighteen months. Uh, the uh, copper price, uh, copper is the mainstay industry in uh, Zambia and the copper price has just uh, plummeted uh, to the lowest levels in six years. So they're going to be quite worried about that and uh, yeah. they're going to have to really think about ways to protect okay. the economy. Well, Gillian, thank you very much uh, for your reporting there. Uh, reporter Gillian Parker reporting live via Sky from Lusaka, Zambia.